had this eerie feeling come over me. I could see it coming, but I couldn't move. It's, it was the most terrifying event of my entire life. When I first got out to Kahuku, I met an old time sergeant out there and she had been out there for many years. She knew, she had stories about uh, the, the station, inside the station, outside of the station. She knew the area very well. She told me one particular story. It was a story about a Hawaiian warrior and full ancient Hawaiian uh, garb. And other officers had talked about the story but only she told me she physically saw it. She said that she would see this warrior in the hallways. She would see this warrior outside the station. She would see him inside of the station. The, the sergeant, she really respected this warrior. And she made it clear to me that she respected this warrior. I was kind of a young officer. I didn't have a lot of fear. I was not afraid of ghosts. It didn't bother me. In Kuhuku Station, there's a loft area upstairs up on the second level. It's a small room. It was more of an area where you could go up and write reports. Real quiet area. And I went up there one night, and when I got to the top, I didn't feel anything. It was just like going into any other room. I walked in, and I saw the, the chair and the table. So I had my report writing stuff with me at that time and back then we uh, wrote hand wrote all of our reports so I sat down and I uh, just started writing my report but I had this eerie feeling come over me like I wasn't alone I kept writing my report but I'm really not concentrating now because I could feel something and as I was writing suddenly a shadow was in the room with me. The shadow came out of nowhere. It got closer to me, and then the hair began to stand on my arms and the back of my neck. I could see it coming, but I couldn't move. And it literally put its hand on my shoulders. I tried to speak, but I couldn't. In my mind, I'm saying, let me go, let me go, let me go but it just wouldn't let go. And the pressure just kept coming. And I was fighting against it because I felt my body shaking. The more I shook, the more pressure was put on me. I couldn't tell you if it was a minute, two minutes, three minutes, I don't know. All I know is I was stuck. And I'm using the word stuck. In Hawaiian it's pa, right? And so I don't know, I was just, you know, I just couldn't move, I couldn't move. After a few moments, it held me in place and then it just backed away. And it, it didn't like just disappear or float away, it backed away. And then, like I said, it just went into, back into the darkness again. Finally, I could, got control of myself and I ran downstairs. I never went back upstairs again. And I had no intention of going and I will never, ever go back up. It was the most terrifying event of my entire life. 